What I could have done to start this video off was uh, I could have awkwardly hit the record button and then gone back to make it all dramatic and just paused and just done whatever, you know, just to be all cliche and stupid like so many other I'm done videos or whatever, you know, sad videos that are supposed to be emotional. But you know what? I'm not about that. I'm just going to cut straight to the point. Yesterday, we lost 32,420 subscribers. Um, yeah, 32,420 subscribers. Not even making that up, that's the exact number. Um, that is more than the population of the city of which I grew up in, minus from my subscriber count in a single day. Before we go any further in this video, I just want to make a disclaimer because this is not supposed to be a video where I am complaining or trying to make you feel bad for me or trying to rant about YouTube. This is not a video where I'm going to be pouting or being all woe is me. However, this is a video that's just supposed to talk about the facts. And as of recording this video, I don't know how this has affected anyone else. Lots of people have been talking about how this might affect PewDiePie versus T-Series. If that is the case, then that really does suck. Maybe when this video goes up, PewDiePie will no longer be the number one most subscribed YouTube channel. I highly doubt that, but if it is the case, then we fought, we fought really well, and I am proud of the people who tried, but that's not the point of this video. The point is I'm just trying to make you guys aware of the current situation. Over time, when I first started this particular channel, which was around three and a half years ago, it was the fourth year, um, I constantly made videos. I started with the most motivation you could possibly have, with the, the most passion you could possibly have, to go and pursue some kind of goal. And my goal was to entertain a crap ton of people. And I kept going, I kept making videos, and I was definitely growing. And then one day in 2016, never forget, June 28th, I lost a thousand subscribers, which was approximately 20% of my subscriber gain. And back then, I could, I got over it. I was motivated and I had enough energy to keep fighting through it. And it took three and a half months to finally gain those subs back because I realized it wasn't the numbers that counted, it was just the support. Over the years, I've slowly and slowly burnt myself out to the point where I now feel like it actually takes negative profit. Like, I gain less by making a video, gain less than I actually have to put in to make one. I love seeing the reactions. I love seeing the people that say, great video, and that always has made it worth it. But over time, as my as my priorities have gone up, as my standards for my own content has gone up, it's required more and more energy, more and more devotion. And over time, as YouTube has progressed, YouTube has gone more and more downhill in terms of the way they operate their website. Um, and this has basically formed into a big negative conundrum of a bad situation of which now I have to make this video. Because like I said, we just lost 25% of all of the subscribers that I've worked for for the last three and a half years in one day. 25%, just gone. We're back at 99K. We're not even at the silver play button yet. That silver play button that I've been waiting to actually gain so I could strap it to a rocket launch it into space just to entertain more people doing it and now it's looking like we're not even going to gain that sometimes i feel like youtube is literally just trying to stop me from getting a silver play button because they've ran out of silver or whatever i don't even know and if if other people have been affected by this um you know i'm so sorry for you as well i mean like i said it takes a long time to gain these subscribers back and you can continue to lose you know you'll just You'll just be making content, you'll just be working, and then one day, you just lose it all, you know? I mean, you lose 25%, just out of nowhere. And all you get in the compensation is just, you know, YouTube says, oh, we're just removing spam subs. At this point, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. 
you know, we've, this channel has been affected so greatly by these sub purges. Like, like I said, the, in the original sub purge back in 2016, we lost 20% of all of the subscribers on the channel, which was a tremendous amount. Most people only lost like 10% of most. Um, and this time we've lost 25% and we are like 10 times more than that. We are 20 times bigger than we were back then. And we lost 25% instead of 20% this time. So like I said, man, that, that's a lot of, that's a lot of work gone. Like subscribers are just a number and, and that's definitely how you should view them. They're just a number. They represent people though. And it's really funny because I was actually planning on making a video discussing YouTube subscriptions, discussing YouTube subscriber counts visualized. Like I was going to put together a whole infographic about YouTube subscriber counts visualized in the real world, kind of like a motivational video. Like if you have 500 subs, that's like the population of this country or city or something like that, you know, something like that. That's what I was planning on making right before I found out that this all happened. So, and like I said, I was definitely planning on putting around 10 hours of work into that video, but I am at this current moment mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausted. I've burnt myself out. I don't want people to have to be in my position to where they have to quit or stop making videos because of a stupid little number. And like I said, I'm not stopping. I'm not taking a break because of a number dropping. It's more representative of just the way YouTube runs their website as a whole. I'm glad YouTube wants to make people have, I don't know, real sub counts, you know? I'm glad YouTube wants to remove botted subs, whatever that's supposed to even mean. But when it affects people that don't have any botted subs or fake subs, it just, it doesn't make any sense, you know? The system is flawed to the point where, you know, I mean, if, if you have a channel that's built up all these subs and you just lose them in a single day, that's a flawed system, man. So, like I said, I'm just, I don't know what else to say. Subscribers are just a number, of course, but they represent a whole lot more. It's like having 32,000 people be subtracted from my subscriber count. It's like having a whole city subtracted from my subscriber count in a day. Like I said, that's two, that's two months, two and a half months of work subtracted in a day. That's probably another two and a half months of work to get back subscri subtracted in a day. It's also especially sad because in a couple days, if not even tomorrow by the time this video is posted, there's a scheduled video that's supposed to come out on my channel, which is basically supposed to talk about achieving 100,000 subscribers. I scheduled it exactly a year ago, and I basically said in a nutshell my goal for this year was getting 100k subs, and um, I was talking about you know the future of this channel, where it's going to be going, and as of right now, the future just simply does not look that good. So if you could please just do one thing, subscribe to this channel. And if you already are, just tell someone else to subscribe. Tell your dog to subscribe. You know, tell your imaginary friend to subscribe. It really doesn't make any difference because I want to keep making videos. So please just do that. And if PewDiePie has lost subs, please subscribe to him too. And if you know anyone who has lost subs, please tell people to subscribe to them too. So thank you for watching this video. And for those who have been subscribed for a very long time, thank you for watching this YouTube channel for so long, three and a half years, plus six, six years before then of other channels that I've had. And it's all led up to this moment. We can gain it back. It's just a number. It's just 32,000. It's just a simple little number. We can gain it back. With your help, we can gain it back. And I can continue to pursue my dream, to pursue my passion, and to continue entertaining you and a lot of other people.
So let's just please work together and let's move on from this. And I will see you guys whenever the next time I feel like turning this camera on again, hopefully sooner than later. Goodbye.